he's a freak. That's probably the best way to describe him. He's an athletic freak. Um, extremely raw to the game. Still trying to figure out um, how to play the position. Uh, obviously, now when it comes to high school to college, there's a lot of details and disciplines that you got to obtain to play at a high level. And he started to figure it out. And that's why you start, like, you start to see him have success out here on the practice field is because you start to understand what we're trying to do offensively, understand the route, the routes, and understand the concepts to where he can play fast and kind of use his natural freak ability to make plays. When you see him make a one-handed, like that play like he did with that one-handed catch, like what? Does that give you just new, like, because like what he can do with him as well? Yeah, I mean, you see the athletic ability is is obviously, uh, you know, I also, you know, when he, there's some plays that he makes that, you know, normal people at 6, 5, 2, 40, that, that don't move like him. And, uh, and like I said, he's still learning the game. He's still learning our offense. And he's still learning how to be a, you know, college athlete at the same time. Uh, but he's done a good job because I've, I've, I've kind of pressed him and, and, and stayed on him about it because I know he can be, you know, he can help us early. And he's the type of talent that, that needs to be on the field early, but he's got to put in the work as well uh, to learn the plays, which he's done. Yeah. You know, I think that's you know, something that he kind of concentrated on uh, this camp and through the summer is really trying to hone in on what we do offensively from a scheme standpoint that allow him to play, uh, at least go out there and play fast and know what he's doing. I mean, obviously there's stuff that we're going to have to constantly fix just because, you know, he just, you know, he's a freshman. You know, he's still a freshman, even though he looks like he's 22 years old and he, <laughs> and he plays like he's 22 years old. He's still a freshman and there's still stuff we got to battle through. But overall, I think he's doing a good job. And like the last two practices, I really thought he's come in and, 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 and made a statement of like, hey, I'm starting to figure this thing out. With where he's at in the playbook, how much could you actually use him right now in the game? You know, I think right now there would be there would be a few things that we would have to, to work through uh, just because, you know, I think he's confident you know, in, in the entire playbook. Um, but that's why we still have you know, two and a half weeks. Before. Two and a half weeks can go a long way, especially right now he's getting confidence in the playbook and, uh, and knowing, like, hey, I can, I can do this. You know, not, not, not just knowing, like, hey, I have a middle hook, uh, do, but what a middle hook like for his man, what is a middle hook like for his zone, you know, what is that middle hook like when the space is closed and I gotta find a new space? So those type of details are um, starting to really kind of click with him. Uh, yeah, he's starting, to, he's starting to play a lot faster. Uh, and without looking to the sideline every time to signal something, you know, not, not knowing what, what to do, he can go out there and, and, and play the majority of, it, of what we're trying to do. Is it oversimplifying to say he's stepping into the kind of the same role Drake was playing, or, or is there nuance to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of like where we kind of started him. Now the, 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 the future for him is to have a, a hybrid role because he is a you know, freak, six, six, five, six, five, two, four, two hundred forty pounds. And he's just you know, still a young kid. Yeah. So, um, but having to learn why age and age is kind of too much for any freshman to sure. get on the plate. Um, you know, Lake, Lake. You know, for instance, Lake McCree, he kind of has it figured out right now, but he had a spring, yeah. right? So he get in, in his spring where well, we didn't have a whole, whole lot of bodies, so he got the, he got a ton of reps, and now he's kind of figured out all three positions where you know, Trick's coming in, and we're going to start him with Y, and then eventually, you know, through the season, he'll, he'll get the back gotcha. to H and A and be able to move in, get creative and move in different spots. How big is a moment like today, though, for him to have the whole team celebrating I me mean, he does on the field and everyone? Everyone's kind of powering around him. Well, he's a very likable dude. You know, Trigg, he's got a great personality, a uh, big personality. And so the, the guys on the team love him. Um, he's kind of goofy. Uh, but, you know, so when the guys like you, they want to see you succeed. And when you succeed, they're going to celebrate with you. We got great. We got a great group of guys, especially in the, in the tight end in the tight end room right now. We're really tight, really tight. We got a lot of special players in there. Um, we're all pulling in the right direction. We're pulling for each other. So, you know, obviously, anytime anybody scores, we want everybody else in the, in the, in the end zone to celebrate with their teammates. But it, it's fun to see that you know they've kind of taken him under the wing. Yeah. Said, you know, you, you'll see it in the walkthroughs and, and even on the sideline. You'll see you know our older guys like EK and follow constantly coaching trips, right? Um, there's no insecurities there. They all know that like, this is a team deal, um, and they want to see him succeed and want to get better. So, you know, they see me coaching somebody else. You know, 
know, I'll, I'll turn Most around pressure, and he can follow and, and even Epps are right there on him, uh, coaching him. I mean, no, yeah. so that's, that's awesome to see. Nice. I know you addressed this last week with Antonio, but finding Manjack on the recruiting trail, can you kind of take me back to the first moment you noticed him? Well, it was, it was really you know, on social media we kind of found – uh, I can't remember who sent it to me, which is if it was Coach Carter or one of the receiver coaches, or we just randomly you know, found it. But you know, there's a guy named the Footwork Team that works mm -hmm. with a lot of guys in Houston, and uh, Man Jack was working with him a lot. And you kind of see like this guy had a pretty good, he's very smooth, had a good feel for getting in and out of breaks. And so then you turn the tape on, and all of a sudden it's just like explosive play after explosive play after explosive play. And so you kind of like caught your eye, and you're like, hey, this guy's pretty good. And then through the season, you put it on each and every week, whether he's playing receiver, quarterback, or whatever. You know, if receiver, he's only he's going for 200, 300 yards in the air. If he's playing quarterback, he's going 200, 300 yards on the ground. He's just like, man, this guy's a football player. It's not that much. And it got to the point where we're just like, man, this guy, this guy can do it. He's smooth. Uh, he's got great, he's got great uh, body control, and great uh, ball skills. And not only that, he's just a football player because at every position you play him, I mean, even a punter, yeah. you know, he, he would punt it, and then all of a sudden he's making a knockout tackle. <laughs> right. So you're just like, man, you fall in love with a kid like that, right? And so we fell in love with him after after watching his film, and then obviously getting to talk to him, you know, he knew he was our type of guy. So how early on did you kind of, was he on your radar? I would say going into a senior year. Okay, so even before the season? Yeah, so we kind of knew who he was, and then like watching the season progress, you're just like, man, this, guy, this guy's different. You know, and he's, he, he deserved to be on the elite level like that you would see. What, what was the moment that pushed you guys over the edge and said, it's time to pull the trigger and make this offer? It was just after one of his games that, again, he rushed for like 300 yards, and we were just like, man, what are we doing? Like, this kid is good, you know? And, uh, you know, our hesitation was just, you know, I don't know. Nobody, you know, it was the, it was the year you couldn't get out. You couldn't mm -hmm. see him. You didn't know who he was. And, uh, so at the end of the day, you know, watch, you know, watching the film after film, after game after game after game, where he's just making all these plays. You, know, you got to look, look at it and say, hey, this guy's doing it for a reason. He's doing it in the past level of Texas high football. It's not like he was playing uh, bad competition. He's playing really good competition. He's still doing it. So, and then you get to talk to the coaches. You get to talk to, you know, the guys that trained him when he was young. You know, talk to his family. And you get to figure out who he, who he is. You know, coming really from nothing. And everything that he's ever had is earned. You're like, this is our type of guy. And so we just pulled the trigger and went all in. So that first video came across your desk first, or? I can't remember. I can't remember. You know, sometimes we'll pull up a Twitter. You know, either whether it be mine or whoever's on staff, put it on the big screen. You know, if, if somebody finds like a video and kind of just watch it, I can't remember who, who brought it up. Gotcha. Um, but I remember watching a video of uh, uh, Man Jack just working with the football team and being like, oh, this guy, this guy moves well. Yeah. You know, and then when you see something that moves well, you obviously want to go watch the tape. And so you then go watch the tape and it's like, okay, let's keep Let's kick the play a little bit, and then all of a sudden it just takes off. So you're not surprised at all? Not surprised at all. I mean, I think Graham and I talk about all the time, you got to trust your eval, especially in recruiting. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, some, whether, you, whether you agree with you know some of the rankings, whether you don't agree with some of the rankings, at the end of the day, you got to trust your evaluation. And our evaluation of Joseph Manjack was spot on. Just lastly, you mentioned Lake McCree earlier. Uh, how, how has he progressed since the spring? Lake's done a great job. And, uh, <laughs> So, to me, like McCree right now, he's a freshman that knows every single position that I'm asking him to know, and he's playing at a pretty, pretty decent level here. Uh, we got to get him a little bit stronger. All right, put a little more weight on him. But I, that was one of the things I've asked him after the spring to attack over the summer. It's like, hey man, like I'm gonna ask you to block some big old DNs. I'm gonna ask you to block some some pretty talented linebackers that weigh 250 pounds. Uh, so you're gonna have to bring something with it. And, he, at the time, he was around 230, maybe 220, 228, uh, almost with a dad bod. You know? <laughs> uh, he's changed his body over the summer, uh, really attacks the, attack the weight room. And you can tell because Lake is willing to do whatever you ask him to do. He's going to throw his body around, he's, he's fearless, and he's a very instinctive football player. So he's going to make plays just because he's very instinctive and he knows where the ball is going to be and he understands the whole picture. So um, I'm, I'm excited about Lake. I think Lake's going to be a really good player at USC. Awesome. Thank you.